2021. The National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, NICE for short, has recommended that all young women past the age of puberty be able to stock up on the morning after pill in advance of having unprotected sexual intercourse. They assure us this is the only way to handle the UK's high rates for teenage pregnancy and abortion. Now, isn't that interesting? The last time I looked, sexual intercourse below the age of consent, which remains 16, was an offence of strict liability, meaning any or all sex with a minor is a crime. Lack of knowledge of the partner's age, even if provable, is no defence. It's still classed as rape. So, please, can someone explain why NICE is not now being prosecuted for encouraging or assisting the commission of a crime? This isn't just the operation of double standards, it's blatant disregard for the law driven by an ideological agenda that appears intent on destroying family life and all that has up to now protected our young. Even worse, it's putting their lives at risk. Let me explain. If we give young girls sackloads of after-the-event contraceptives, the clear and simple message is that we expect them to engage in mindless casual sex. And not only that, we will help ensure there is no inconvenient consequences. Because we say we don't want their lives to be ruined. Whatever is claimed, this is nothing more than state-sanctioned promiscuity. And it has nothing to do with children's rights or well-being, but all to do with the erosion of family life. Inevitably... This lunatic policy separating sex from all idea of commitment will weaken parental influence and control, which in turn can only add to the more general and already evident destabilisation of society at large. But at an individual level too, it's doing our kids no favours. Increasingly, we know that they are finding it difficult to form long-term relationships that will stay the course. Yet research indicates it is precisely this that grounds emotional stability and leads to happiness. So is it really any wonder that mental illness and suicide rates among the young are at an all-time high? Thank you for listening and God bless you all. Oh.